someone wrote in and said, hi, I'm a college student and I'm wondering what I should do when someone said that I was told me that I was stuck up. How would you handle that? I'm here with the amazing Reed Mahaka from readaboutsex.com. And that is the voice of Kathy Vartuli introducing me at theintimacydojo.com. Yes. And um, it's hard if someone tells you you're stuck up or you're not acting in a way that they enjoy. Um, sometimes people come from different perspectives. But one of the things that I stole from me that I really like is, would you tell me more? Because what one person means by stuck up might mean something entirely different to someone else. So if you say, would you tell me more about that, if you're in the space where you can do that, it gives them a chance to articulate and it's like, wow, you just walked right past me the other day and didn't say hi. And you're like, I didn't see you. So like you might be able to resolve it. It might not actually be an issue before you take it in as like, wow, is there something I need to change? You might be stuck up and that's okay. I mean, people call me all kinds of things. And what I think is useful is the ability to just be present with people when you can, because, you know, words hurt um, and, and be like, thank you for telling me that. Like, do you want to tell me more? Like what, what is, or what occurs to you as me being stuck up? Yeah. This is also jujitsu because a stuck up person wouldn't say thank you and ask somebody <laughs> for more information. Yeah. And don't ask for more information if the person's actually being abusive or being a, you know, and I, I want to say asshole, but assholes are really great. Actually, they're you know, like they're, they're pretty cool. Amazing. They're cool, yeah. amazing things. Um, so douchebag, douchebag, that we can say. Um, yeah. So your mileage may vary, but I think whenever anybody offers me something, even if it's an insult, again, as a tall white guy running around, um, but also as an ex New Yorker, I'm, I'm like. Thank you for telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> How would you suggest? Is there that more? That? <laughs> like, but I'm also jujitsuing what they're doing to myself because I'm thanking them, and I'm curious. But that's coming from an extrovert, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm an introvert, but I still I find it very useful to ask people to tell me more when I'm in the space where I can do that. I also think it would depend also on who's telling you yeah. you're stuck is up. Is this a friend or is this someone just your random lover? Yeah. Your is it a rando stranger like? Yeah. And one of the other things I've found is that different people have different expectations. We have a video on expectations versus agreements, and someone may have an expectation of where your friendship or relationship is and what they can expect from you, and they've never articulated it, and you may not be meeting what their expectation is. And so mm -hmm. when you say, would you tell me more, talk a little bit further, some of that stuff might become more conscious, and you're like, no, I never said I was going to call you three times a day. Other thing, they might think you're stuck up because you're enforcing your boundaries. Yeah. So if you have boundaries, maybe they're not aware of them, but then they, because stuck up to me means like aloof, better than... And again, like in today's culture, if you actually know what your needs are and have boundaries and you can um, uh, enforce them, some people will think that that's stuck up because you're not martyring yourself for everyone. And, and some people will actually use insults as a way to try to break down your boundaries when you're, you're actually saying, no, I don't want to do this thing. It's not right for me. Mm -hmm. So we hope this helped. Um, I don't think you're stuck up. So you even asked this question. Yeah, most people that are genuinely stuck up wouldn't ask if they were stuck up. 